everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to bring you guys a video on things I wish I knew that has already happened. That's been throughout my pregnancy, my delivery process, and the first three months of motherhood. These are the th things that I wish I knew before they actually happened. But before we get into that, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new or you are a returning viewer and you haven't subscribed yet. And also, click on that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. Other than that, let's get into this video. I just underestimated this or rather I feel like people did not emphasize on this a lot or enough the morning sickness is it I didn't know this I thought it was gonna be like a breeze okay in the morning you get sick you vomit cool cool stuff or sometimes they say that you'll have it late later on in the day or whenever but I didn't think it was hectic like you felt sick you actually felt sick and in my case, it was like the whole day, for weeks. Nah, the crazy need for sleep. <sighs> Especially in the first trimester. All I wanted to do was sleep. Go to campus, come back and sleep. Go to work and sleep. In the taxi, sleep. All I did was sleep. I didn't miss an opportunity to sleep. Even though it was still like the early, like later on, I didn't sleep as much. But in the very beginning, like my first trimester was the day. The hate for heat is a real. Like, I don't know. It will be raining outside, and I'm gonna be in my vest. To be freezing outside, and I'm sweating. I don't know if this was like a general thing as I didn't do any research on it but I know for me I couldn't stand heat whatsoever so if it was actually hot outside I was dying but I did hear I did read somewhere that um, when you are pregnant when you are pregnant your body temperature is usually higher than normal and I don't remember the reason but yeah I guess it got, it's got something to do with that but I'd already, I already hated heat as a normal being, as myself, before pregnancy. So after pregnancy, it was just like, you know what? I'm over this.
six week period that is compulsory. Okay, I'm not sure whether this is a worldwide thing, but here in South Africa, if you have given birth, be it whether you gave birth naturally or through a C section, you are supposed to stay at home for at least six weeks before you can go back to any kind of work or school. So that's like a compulsory thing. If you want to go for longer, that's um, up to you, but six weeks is the minimum that you have to stay at home before you are allowed back. Before you are allowed back at work. Oh, it's cool. I didn't understand why. I thought like you take two weeks to recuperate and then be able to go back to your normal routine, but it actually took me the full six weeks for me to go back to my normal self. Because you use that to recuperate from the whole experience as well as to adapt to being a mother and especially with being a new mom. I guess it's not as bad if you've had babies before but as a new mom I need all that time to adapt to being a mom, um, having someone else to take care of and building like a whole routine before introducing other things into the mix such as school or work. Dystestus recti. I can't say the word because there's too many S's in that word. I'm going to write it down somewhere. Um, so this is basically a condition whereby, after pregnancy, whereby um, the muscles in your stomach um, open. Like they stretch, leaving a whole like gap in the middle of your belly. And this is due to it being overstretched and it takes a while before it goes back to normal. And if actually if it's not treated, it can go on for months to years. I heard that a lot of people didn't even know what it was called or what they were going through. And I felt like this was a very important thing for people to know. I didn't go through it personally, but I felt like I wish I'd known about it before so I can prepare for it. Because it's not, it wasn't something that was told to me, something that I fell upon by accident when I was trying to find out what exercises I can do within the first few weeks after delivery. Because not, you can't just jump into exercises. And that's when I fell upon that topic. And I feel like a lot of people are not aware of it and wouldn't know what they're going through and or how to fix it. Breast milk production. <laughs> Number eight, milk. Milk production doesn't segregate. What do I mean by that? So, beat mama. Be whether you want to, um, yes. Okay, you done now? Okay. Be it whether you want to breastfeed or not, your body will produce milk. And whether you decide that you do not want to breastfeed, it's going to take a while before your body stops producing the milk. So whether you like it or not, you will produce milk. And yeah. So what says milk works in a demand and supply type of vibe? Uh, type they have a demand and supply type of a situation whereby so as long as the baby is breastfeeding you're gonna produce milk and for as long as the baby is not breastfeeding your milk production will go down so whether you choose to breastfeed or not the initial state is that your body will produce milk the initial milk first whether you choose to breastfeed or not it doesn't segregate engorgement the pain yeah I didn't know it was painful to breastfeed like having five siblings i saw what my mom went through but like it was like at a later stage when the baby has like teeth and then they're using the nipple as if it was a teething toy so they're using the nipple as if it's a teething toy and therefore it hurts because they're biting on the nipple so i thought like i wouldn't be going through that until later on I didn't know that you also go through pain in the beginning stages. I almost gave up on breastfeeding because of this, like the, the, the soreness. So engorgement actually means that whereby, um, at the time whereby your breast gets so full of milk that it hurts. And yeah, it's not a wonderful feeling. I was just wanting to say something. It's not a brilliant feeling. I almost gave up on it, but it goes away after two, three, four weeks. 
yeah, within the first month I was okay, the pain goes away and everything goes back to normal. It's just your body getting used to having someone else suck from your boob. Okay. Okay. Number 10, leakage. So, when it comes to leakage, yeah, when it comes to leakage, um, this is another very embarrassing thing that I should have known because they do sell breast, breast pads, breast pads in the store. But I wasn't aware of this until I needed to go buy one. Yeah. Okay. So with me being someone who produces a lot of milk, um, every four to six hours, I'm going to start leaking spontaneously. And w also another funny thing is like when I'm breastfeeding on the one side then I start leaking on the other side. That is something I definitely did not expect. But apparently it's a thing for people who have a lot of milk. Newborns have cramps. Yeah, this is a sad discovery. I didn't want to know this. So it was one night, um, in the first week I think, the first week uh, I, the baby kept whining at night and I didn't know what was going on. Then my mom told me that she's cramping because she sounded like she's in pain but I don't understand why. She, um, so she told me that it's the baby's um, uh, digestive tract um, expanding and getting used to having food go through its system and getting used to the whole digestive system uh, thing, I guess. So I didn't know that and it, it was really, it, it makes you feel helpless. I guess which it brings me to my next point. You are going to feel overwhelmed. You are going to feel helpless because I thought it was like because I love babies. I thought that's going to be like all oh, happy, cheery vibes. I wouldn't feel like sad and stuff. But the helplessness was real when I felt like I couldn't help her, and you know, overwhelmed by everything. Which oh, so I think everyone should accept a little help when it's offered. Because I would, I didn't want to accept help in the beginning. Uh, so when help is offered, just take that opportunity to calm down and take it like me time, and recuperate, relax without the the hassle of everything. I mean, the the helplessness, like taking a break from the helplessness and the overwhelming. Take a break so you can enjoy the greater moments. Lastly, you do not need much for a baby. For the first three months so if you were like me and you plan to buy everything on the last minute i thought i'm going to buy them like two months before, prior to my due date but little did i know that there was a pandemic on the rise i wasn't really listening to the news so there was a pandemic and everything closed before i could buy anything and i'd only bought a few things for just in case purposes like uh, I go into labor early yeah yeah okay mama okay yes mm. so I bought a few things for just in case purposes like for the um, hospital bag in case I go into labor early but I hadn't bought a lot of things I was trying to buy a lot more things but then the pandemic struck and I was stuck and I made it work, which made me realize that a lot of us be spending a lot of money on unnecessary things when we could actually survive on the bare minimum. But yeah, so that's it from me today. I hope this gives, if you are an expecting mom, I hope this gives you like heads up that you need, that I need it. Don't underestimate the pain that people complain about or the sicknesses that they complain about. But then again, every pregnancy is different and every person experiences it differently. So you also need to take that into account. You might not go through what I went through. It might be better, it might be worse. But just don't underestimate anything. But yeah. So that's it from me. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, comment down below or any other suggestions that you guys would like to see. What else? And subscribe to the channel, share the video so that other people can also subscribe if they enjoyed the video. Other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video. Ciao!